really key that we don't just look in one area for our, our work, future workforce. I think it's the blended approach of our domestic pipeline. And I think uh, one of the things that um, we, we've talked very candidly about the health and well-being of our workforce just now, um, but also let's not lose sight of the real positives that COVID has brought for us. Um, I have spoken to many, many healthcare professionals who have feel, felt immensely proud about what they have delivered during um, the last 18 months, and it has reignited and re-energised. And I think that's something that we need to continue to do in health and care to really promote um, the future careers of health and social care. Um, for the future generations of actually um, it is a meaningful profession vocation. I think there's something about our domestic pipeline that actually um, we encourage, we support um, and we train effectively. We, we encourage and, and continue to work and ensure that people are working at the top of their profession and that they can, are able to carry out meaningful roles. We've also got the unregistered workforce and I think this is our absolute tapped in area that we've got to focus on. Um, and I shall give some live examples of the work that we're doing as a system in Lincolnshire. Um, we went out for a apprentice nurse associate roles and we were inundated with applications and that's fantastic, far more than what we ever um, would be able to take as placements. So what we did, we didn't just say thanks but no thanks. Um, we asked them if they would be interested in getting some um, experience in uh, different sectors and we forwarded those to our Lincolnshire Care Association um, who oversees care homes, domiciliary care, community day supports and absolutely really thinking about working together around actually how can we grow our own um, and if we can work together as a system um, in thinking around how do we encourage those people to step into health and, and care? How do we then provide them with the right career paths? Not everybody is privileged enough to be able to go to university. Um, I certainly didn't go to university after leaving school. And I think that's really important that we use apprenticeship schemes to help people to get their degree and to go into um, registered professions or where they want to go. And I think that's a key bit. Mm -hmm.